know who I go low to But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning this kitchen. I wanted to actually like really clean the kitchen instead of doing like the normal surface level cleaning. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I do hope that this video motivates y'all to get up and deep clean something, whether it's your kitchen or anything else that you've been putting off. I do hope that y'all end up getting motivated to get up and clean with me. So let's get straight into this video. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your so one of the things that I neglect a lot in my kitchen is the dish rack. So I'm going to be cleaning the dish rack off with some hot water and some bleach and some dish soap. And then after that, y'all will see me move back onto the dishes. And I also like to add a little bit of bleach to my dish water as well. So y'all, I have this goal to get my channel monetized by November 1st. So to have a monetized channel, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Y'all see where my subscriber count is at right now. If y'all enjoy my videos and if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, leaving likes and commenting under my videos and watching my videos all the way through really helps my channel out a lot. Um, I would love for YouTube to be a source of income for me and my family as a stay-at-home mom. I would really appreciate that. So, I also want to say thank you to everyone who has already been trying their best to support my channel. I really, really appreciate y'all so much. Moving on to the freezer and the fridge. This is how it's looking. I'm a little embarrassed. We have some uh, empty applesauce container, which I'm not sure why that's back in there. And then this uh, nasty food stain. And then we had some leftover uh, pot roast in the crock pot that's been there for a few days. So the fridge really needed a good cleaning. So I'm wiping the fridge down with some hot water and some bleach and dish soap. Um, and so it don't seem, I was about to say it seems, but it don't seem like it, it actually is. So the fridge is empty. What I like to do now is I only like to order groceries when everything is like, when there's basically almost nothing left. Because we used to waste so much food or we overate or a lot of things went bad. Or even sometimes I would reorder the same things uh, in the freezer and not even know like there's a whole bag of that that we didn't even touch. So I'm like, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. So, um, that has really helped with making sure we eat everything, um, because as things, you know, is low, you got no choice but to try to just make stuff. So that has helped us out a lot with wasting food. Uh, but after this day, I did order some groceries since the fridge and freezer was pretty empty. And also since the, um, fridge was clean. I can't keep up with your mood swings. What is trouble in your mind? Are you doing business to test me? I'm at a handle in this type of thing. Well, I don't get it, you say. 
say it's a man thing Babe, I wanna be around I just wanna make your heart sing So I really wanted to give this wall near the kids' table a good wipe. So I, I used a dishwasher pot and some hot water in a bucket. And then I also sprayed the wall down with some water and pine saw. This is how the wall was looking, y'all. It is very, very nasty. Like I said, this is the wall near the kids' table. So um, I did clean the wall off as best as I could, but it wasn't perfect. Um, but it looked much better. And I'm thinking now I'm going to start moving the table away from the wall. I don't know why I did that anyway, but I'm going to start moving the table away from the wall when they eat just so the wall won't ever look that nasty again. What is trouble in your mind? Baby, why can't you just tell me? I just want to be your bride. Want to be. I want to give our love away. So you're not letting me. So while I was wiping down the cabinets, I saw that above the stove and this little area was really, really greasy so I used some of the pink stuff and a scour daddy to scrub um, all of the grease as best as I could so it looks so much better than what it was looking like before like when I sprayed the water and pine saw all of the grease was like dripping so it looks so much better I did throw away the scour daddy and the rag that I used to wipe it because I didn't wipe this down when I first moved in. So I was most likely wiping and cleaning off years and years of grease that wasn't even ours. I know it's nasty, but I did throw away the Scour Daddy and the rag. Um, but after that, I'm going to be using a different Scour Daddy and I'm going to also be using the pink stuff again for the stovetop. And then I will also move into the oven and also use the pink stuff to clean it out as well. So another thing that I never cleaned when we moved in was is this broiler drawer. I know it's nasty. We never used it, but that's still not an excuse to not clean it. So um, like I said, everything that I used to clean this drawer, I threw out as well. Um, but so the first clean, I just sprayed the pine saw and water and I scrubbed it. And then I saw that it was still greasy. So then I sprayed it again with the pine saw and water. But the second time I added a little bit of dish soap and it got cleaner, but there were still spots that had grease spots. So then I ended up uh, cleaning it off and then using the pink stuff. And um, y'all will see that it still had some grease spots. It wasn't perfect, but that's something that I'm going to have to, you know, clean over time. Um, so, yeah, so after that, I moved on to the air fryer and cleaned that out. But we are getting towards the end of this video. I really do hope that this video was motivational to y'all. If it was, please make sure y'all give this video a like. Comment down below anything. And I will see y'all in my next one.